let's bring the discussion back home now for proper uh, league football. Before we get into uh, the fixtures for match day six, we got a scary bit of news today uh, that said players and coaching crew of Nigeria football, uh, Nigeria Professional Football League side FC Ifa and Uba were attacked by armed robbers earlier today on their way to on uh, an MPFL match day six clash against Jigawa Golden Stars. According to a statement released by uh, FC Fine Uba, the robbery incident happened at Kaba Junction near Lokoja in Kogi State at about 1.30 p.m. today. The club also says the team driver was shot while some members of the coaching crew and players were critically injured in the attack. The team uh, currently ranked 10th on the MPFL table with eight points from five league games. And Alfred were thankful that nobody died. But, a, but this is not good. No, it's it's not good. Um, <laughs> that's the risk of um, doing this job. And uh, just like the way some you know um, stakeholders responded, I saw the tweet by Kano Pillars. I, th I thought that was that was really good. Uh, some other people talking about it and uh, commiserating with the uh, with the team and wishing them well. Um, this is not something. If you witness something like it's not something that you I even wish for somebody. Yeah. Very very difficult. I mean, How they will be able to con continue um and they'll continue this game we hear that they continued the journey yeah. we hear the, that they continued they left the driver that was shot it's in the hospital uh somewhere in, in kogi state yeah. and all of that so hopefully <sighs> hope it, it oh, no. pulls oh, no. through and um the, the, i'm just imagining the kind it, of the state really, of the players yeah on yeah. the field of play it's it's frightening it's frightening but uh let's wish everybody uh, quick recovery from it, but we are glad that uh, we didn't lose anyone. More updates coming from the Nigeria Professional Football League. The league management company, that's the body responsible for league football in Nigeria, they have confirmed that they've received um, a letter of notification from Delta Force handing over their ownership in the MPFL to Quara United. Alfred, this is what, when this news broke about three days ago, that's what everyone was saying. Oh, how come they didn't tell us? How come the league management company didn't, you know, jump on this? Yes, the league management company, they don't own Delta Force mm. or Quara United, mm. but it was important that they get proper briefing and then tell us no, because, let us know, because they are the custodians of the league. In Nigeria, so and now they are confirming it. I think they yeah, are confirming the, the the receipt of the letter from Delta Force. Just showed you that, um, of course, the process is being followed. It's not a question of um, yeah, they may have done the the business, but um, there is the responsibility to inform the LMC of um, this. Uh, now that if, uh, that has been done, mm -hmm. I'll wait for the for the NFL to go. Uh, sorry, for the LMC to go through the process that they should go through for the formal. Um, um, ratification of uh, the deal is concerned, but it's no longer news. The Delta Force themselves came up with a statement today explaining that they, in fact they made profit from the uh, from the um, from the uh, business. Um, only how many uh, months? Uh, uh, <laughs> there about that was last season when they bought um, Cadastas uh, yeah. place to uh, you know and, and so just allowing you go one Warri Wolves gain promotion to the Premier League. I was looking at the business. We've always talked about you know conflict of interest. One state having two teams. It applies now in Akwa Ibom State, also in Abia State where Abia Warriors and A yeah. uh, Dakada and um, sorry. Um, if you like Aqua Starlet <laughs> and uh, Aqua United, I know. And, you know, and now that Delta State have showed, showed, showed his hands, I said he looked at it. Warri Wolves, when it comes to um, pedigree, when it comes to you know how they got to the Premier League in in, in, in the first place, Warri Wolves um, looks better in terms of um, the result. And so there is a need for them because since. LMC, they even claim that the LMC wrote them mm. that they want you to divest your interest in one of them so that you have one state room and they don't want to run far alone. That's why they allow the team to go. Uh, and um, they, 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 the State Sports Commission, mm. led by Tony Okowa, they explained it also that mm. they considered league position also after match day five and mm. the Warrior Wolves out there and has mm. got more, more pedigree. So we'll continue to monitor this transfer of ownership uh, between Delta Force and, of course, uh, Quara United. But the league management company, they've said for March the 6th, it's still Delta Force that they recognize. So let's take a look at March the 6th fixtures of the Nigeria Professional Football League. That's one uh, really got us talking with March the 5th because, Alfred, we got three away wins. Just after five uh, March days, we have 
eight away wins already this season. Eight already. Nobody, nobody is smi nobody smiling. Nobody the referees are doing fantastic. a fantastic job. Yeah. The players are yeah. coming out knowing yeah. that when they play well, they yeah. get the result. Mm -hmm. Rivers United, I'm particularly happy for them. Mm -hmm. uh, when they went to um, Worry, got that result. I didn't expect them to. I bet it. How many oh, away games now? Yeah. They got uh, a draw against them. Can you in the match mm -hmm. they won of the league? And now this. Um, so, so when like teams know that the everything is fine, they will go. So play to United. Uh, they are the informed team. On um, mm -hmm. beating after five matches, they have, I think, 13 points. Mm -hmm. uh, and on top of the table, they will take on Kano Pillars uh, that now have their a charismatic Rabiu Ali back in the team. So that Pe one is going Pele. to... In fact, they tweeted that now that Pele is back, <laughs> play to United must fall. Right? It's going to be difficult, but they now just... we play at the new Joe mm -hmm. Stadium. And with the form play to United, they are enjoying... It will be difficult. But and you expect a full house in that. I exactly, expect a full house in exactly. that. Exactly. I thought it's going to be good football. At the match between Jigawa Golden Stars and FC Final Bars, we're still, we're still waiting to know if that match will go on. Uh, with what happened today with FC Final Bar. Well, the tweet I got today was that they continue the journey and they were right. And they were right. So that's mm. fine. So we're going to have that one also uh, between uh, Jigawa Golden Stars and FC Final Bar. Sunshine Stars will take on Aqua United. Uh, so they, they say they are Dakada FC, but the league still know them as Aqua Starlets. But because they have rebranded, they have put out notification out there, and that's the story right there with Dakada FC. And that's all right, United will play Delta Force. They've given their slot to Quara United, but until everything is done properly and officially, that's what it is right there. Adama United will take on Katsina United. Rivers United will play Abia Warriors. The match between MFM and Aimba is postponed because Aimba will be busy in the CAF Confederation Cup. Lobby Stars and Rangers also postponed. Rangers, they are busy in the CAF Confederation Cup, while Wiki Tories will take on Heartland. That's match the six of the Nigeria Professional Football League. Let's just run through some of the fixtures in the NNL because the NNL 2 is back, and after match they won. Everybody is now following because there's been so much drama. March day, uh, March day two, uh, a group A one. Akosendi will take on the MDFC, ABS a Football Club of Quara will take on Malufashi FC. Kogi United will play Kada City. Um, Kebi United will play Oya Sports. Zafra FC will be busy with Green Beret. While NAF FC will go against Road Safety. Group A two, Taraba will take on. Uh, it's Quara United. <laughs> it's Quara United. <laughs> so these are the issues until we rectify it. Uh, Mighty Jets will play El Kanemi. Sokoto United will play Rarara. Uh, AFCC will take on Real Stars. A lot of fixtures in B1. Ekit United will be busy. Uh, Go Round will also be busy with um, Dynamite FC, Abia Comets, and 3SC. That should also get us talking. 3SC, they won their first match. They are, are in a good mood. Let's see if they can uh, go Abia Comets got a draw against, uh, um, what's it called, uh, Nilayo. In, mm. uh, Neil Lyon, that's yes, right. And Lyon so let's see uh, what's going to come out of that one. In B2 also, we've got some juicy fixtures. Uh, Jay Atete will take on Van Dressa of uh, Uyu Akwai Bomb and enjoy comments. Uh, Calabar Rovers, all of them will be busy so much going down in our world of sports. There's also the CAF Confederation Cup this uh, weekend. And of course, all of the talks about the sack of Unai Emery will also continue. Thank you so much, Alfred, for coming on the show. Always a delight. And of course, to you, wherever you're in the world watching sports tonight on channels, TV, you see, it just disappears. Time disappears when we're having fun. So let's keep the conversation going on Twitter, channels underscore sports, Facebook channels, IFS Sports. That's the show for the team. I'm Austin Okonakman. In everything you do, remember, Let's keep talking sports by for now.